Hi folks, Nathan Rob with Two Guys a Ride here and welcome to our Car Tech How To video on the 2024 GMC Sierra 3500 Denali Ultimate. Today I'll be covering the driver's information and infotainment screens. I'll do a general overview, show you how to access information and do a deep dive. Let's get started. Today we're working with our friends at Snell Motors in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota. Okay, so this is a beautiful setup. Uh, you have an all digital 12.3 um, inch driver's information screen. And man, is it nice. Now, so the way it's set up right now, of course, over on the left, you have got um, your miles per hour. And then over on the far right, you've got your RPM as well as your uh, drive mode and then you got your uh, digital speed in the middle which there's a whole bunch of information we can configure in this screen but down below that you have got an engine temp and a fuel gauge and then in between that a range to empty and that up at the top you've got a couple of extra uh, dummy lights that will come on depending on, on uh, what feature you're using now to control everything in that screen you're going to use the two arrows plus the rotary button on the far right side of the steering wheel. So, um, we're going to get started here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go left, and you're going to see where it says speed. You're going to see something that looks pretty familiar. So, a um, little change in the, in the design of the icon, but this is the information page. So, you will be able to configure what shows up in here, but let's take a look what's in here right now. For instance, right now you got speed. Rotate down one, you get a drive summary. You get trip one, trip two. You notice it has the reset button at the bottom. That would mean if you would push and hold this rotary knob down, it'll reset. All right, you got a timer. Uh, you see where the menu button is? If I click, the, you get another menu. You can reset or start the timer there. Use the left arrow to go back. Okay, tire pressure. Go down again, driver's assistance here. So this is your, like a, you can see this as your um, adaptive cruise here. Adjust the gap right there. You got oil life, brake pad, air filter life. I'll go into one of these. They, the last couple have said menu at the bottom. So I'll go into menu. You can reset or disable. So all, anything that says menu again is just a push on here. All right, let me go down one again. Uh, fuel filter life. Got a couple more. Diesel exhaust fluid. And then a blank page if you just kind of want nothing up there. And then finally, info page options. Now, this is where you can control all the screens you just saw. So you click. And anything that's got a check mark is going to be there. For instance, the first thing we saw was that digital speedometer. So if I uncheck that and go back, I should be able to rotate down one more. I'm at the top of the screen. See, now I'm at drive summary, and before, the first thing was the digital speedometer. So I'm going to go back here, press this, click on here to add the speedometer back, go backwards, go down one, and now I've got the digital speed. So... Quite simply, this is all. This is where you decide what information you want showing up in this screen. Uh, we have a couple of things that are not checked, so you could just simply check those. What's nice is they let, they allow you to have them all on. Okay. All right. I'm going to hit the back arrow. That was the information page. So I'm going to go over to media. Now, in media here, you get AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, USB, Amazon, Alexa, Google News, Podcast. And yes, this does have the Google built-in system. So that's why you're seeing all that. Okay, and you simply uh, click on whichever one that you want with that rotary button. And there you go. Now, behind the steering wheel on the far right, you have um, a volume up and down two buttons. And on the far left, you have your favorites. You can toggle back and forth between your favorites. All right, that's media. So I'm gonna go back here, go back again. Now we'll go right, and we'll move off the uh, double eighth notes here and go to navigation. All right, so if I, right now there's no course plotted, 
So it just shows your direction, but this does have Google Maps built in, of course, because it's the Google built-in system. And any turn-by-turn -turn directions would show up right here in the middle. All right, let's go over one more to the right. And this is where your phone would be. It's nothing connected right now, but if we did, this is where your you know most recent calls, your call history, contacts, all that kind of stuff would show up right in this screen. We'll go over one more now. Now we get into some of the ways you can customize the screen. So, first thing you can choose is, is the display layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here on display layout and watch the dash change. So I have classic right now. I'm gonna go to progressive. Okay, yeah, like that. And digital. Okay, and clean okay just take some things away um, and uh, makes it a little a little less cluttered okay I like lots of information so we're gonna go back to that one so that's the first way you can change things so I'm gonna hit this then you can change just the information on the left side and I love it when manufacturers do this so it's highlighted the area that we're gonna look at if I go to right side the right side highlights so let's click on here and you can determine what information you want to show here right now it's set to compass but I could go to time and temp and then click here and that's what shows so these are the things that you can choose from and one of the options is none if you don't want anything there okay I'm gonna hit the back button right side info so I'm gonna go down here you can have drive mode enhanced, which is what it is currently, okay? Compass, time and temp, tire pressure, fuel economy average, transmission fluid temp, and nothing, okay? So you set that to whatever you want it to be, and then we can go backwards with the left button. Now, the lower gauges, you just see them light up in red right now, that's the engine temp and the fuel gauge. We can say, I want them maximum, so now I'm getting uh, a few more gauges, like I'm getting engine temp, fuel gauge, but I'm also getting battery voltage and oil pressure. I can make them medium where they were a minute ago or minimum, where it just gives me my gas gauge and that's about it. Okay. I, I will, we'll leave that back on medium where it was. We'll use the left arrow to go back now this info page options is the same thing that we just saw when we were back under the eye and we clicked here to edit so that's the same thing so I won't go over that again okay units you can change right here between US and metric go back and we'll go down speed warning you can enable that now if you do you can go down to speed, click, and now you can say, where do you want it to warn you? Okay. And whatever speed you set, that's the speed at which it will warn you. Use the back arrow, back arrow again. Speed sign display. Okay, uh, you can have it on basically or off. Now there is a, a plan that you need to, to purchase as part of a package to, to get that, but um, you know, contact your local dealer about information on that. All right, we'll go down here. This has a beautiful 15 inch heads up display. Um, GM is one of the nicest heads up displays on the market. Uh, so you can go here and you can say speed limit style, and you can say you want a classic speed sign, or you want a speed limit bar, or none. And then you can adjust the rotation. And I just move this right here, and you can see it rotating a little bit. The best thing to do is sit in your seat where you have it all adjusted and then watch it in the screen. Uh, but it is a magnificent um, display. Go back, I'm gonna go back again. Uh, you can look at software info if you want, or if you have a problem, you can always reset to defaults. So I'm gonna use the back arrow here, go to settings, and we should be at the end of that. Yep, we're at the end. So a very nice uh, digital dashboard here. 
Um, and I love the way they allow you to do the customizations. All right, next we're gonna move over to the infotainment screen. All right, uh, this is a beautiful 13.4 inch infotainment screen. Now, to start with, before I dig into everything, I'm gonna show you how to hook up Apple CarPlay, your phone, and if you have an Android, I'm gonna show you how to hook up your Android uh, to the Android Auto. Now, we have another video that goes into detail about what it looks like, all the things that you can do, and so on, for both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and if you wanna see that, click on the link above. Now, I'm gonna take my phone, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, go into settings. And then I'm gonna go to Bluetooth, scroll to the bottom, and then I'm just gonna wait. Okay, so put my phone down for a second. Okay, on the screen, I'm gonna click on phone. I'm going to manage phones, add a phone, Okay, now I should have my GMC on my phone, and sure enough, I do. So I click on it. Is this the same number as on the screen? Sure is. I'm gonna hit pair on the here. I'm gonna hit pair on the screen. It asks if I want to allow contacts and favorites to sync. If this is your phone, yeah, you wanna click allow so you can use those features. This isn't my car, so I'm gonna click don't allow. And we should be just about done. Now, it does ask me uh, if I can upload contact names to Google. You can choose allow or deny. I'm just going to uh, deny that. And then it wants you to enable or disable, finally, Apple CarPlay. You want to click enable. Then on your phone, you're gonna, it's gonna say use CarPlay with my GMC. You're gonna wanna click use CarPlay. And from that point on, folks, you can just shut your phone off and put it away because it will work in a lock screen. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to hook up an Android phone. So I'm gonna take out my other phone and I'm gonna do the same thing I did on my iPhone. So I'm gonna go into settings, connections, Bluetooth, and now I'm gonna wait for a second. So now I'm gonna set the phone down. Now I go back up here and I tap on phone. I click manage phones, add a phone, and now I'm looking for my GMC to show up on my Uh, device and there it comes right there so I click on my GMC it says is this the same passkey as on your screen it is so I'm gonna hit pair and pair and then here it says do I want to enable or disable Android Auto well I want to enable it so now I can just shut my phone off and here we are at Android Auto. All right, so this is a beautiful 13.4 inch screen. Now, um, just a few basics on the screen. Uh, if you wanna rearrange the icons, simply click and hold, and then you can move them around. Just drop them when you're done, okay? Uh, if you want to move one of these icons, okay, to the shortcut menu on this side, just click it, drag it over, and there you be. You want to get this off, same thing. Click and hold, drag it back off. And then it just leaves it blank. So I'm going to fill that up back up with these maps here. So easy way to adjust and customize. Now over here you have got uh, four different uh, side windows. Okay, so you got the clock, you got connected trailer status, uh, Sirius XM which should show up there, and then Google Maps right there. Okay, so let's go back up to the clock. There we go. All right, um, so let's take a look at uh, the built-in navigation, which of course in this case, because it's Google built-in, is Google navigation. Now, I love the fact that they use that whole 13.4 inch screen. Now, you see this little white arrow here? That's where your clock is hiding. So you, you get a little arrow here to hide that. 
and then you get the full screen. Okay, now, lots of ways you can plot a course, but the easiest is just to say, hey Google, find the closest Dairy Queen. Here's what I found for Dairy Queen locations. You can just click on one, and then it starts the route for you. Okay. And there we go. Now, to exit out of the route, I'm just going to click there. All right, but a very, very, very nice uh, built-in Google Map. Anything you do on your uh, Google navigation on your phone, you can do on the car. All right? But again, it, if just say, hey, Google, and then you can ask it to do something. Cancel. All right. Um, so that's that's the basis of navigation there and it's just easiest to d just say that you can click the voice command button that's on the right side of the steering wheel once a quick press release and then you can ask the same thing okay all right let's go back to home for a minute all right so that was maps let's go to audio okay so this, you can have a nice screen here that you can just scroll through and look at the different channels, okay? Uh, you can click down here to go through channels. I like the way they light up in red when you touch them. You can tune right here and type in the numbers. All right, so if you want to see the different sources that are available, you can click here. You're going to notice right away that there are a couple new ones. Because this is Google built-in, you get Google News, Podcasts, and Amazon Alexa, as well as your AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, if we had a phone connected, and a USB input. Okay? Now, in Sirius XM, if I go up to this little setting here, you get your audio settings. So you get your equalizer. You get your fade and balance. That's just a click and drag. I like it that you can hit reset and it bounces back to the middle. You can also use those arrows. Sound mode, normal, driver, or rear. And then you just click on what you want. And then manage favorites. So I like this. I can take this one here. I believe I have to go here though. Yep, and I can just drag it down and I can change the order. I can delete it. Okay, so that's the control that you have. All right, and I think that's the end of that particular screen. Yep. So, uh, how to make a preset? Well, just pick your channel, pick any uh, of the presets down here. You can easily overwrite one that's already got one in there, or you can just find a blank one, say hold to set. And now this has been set as a favorite. Okay, if you click right here on these three lines, then you can search by genre and category. You got music, sports, news, talk, and then everything else appears down here. All right, so let's go back to home for a minute. And I wanna show you really quick that AM and FM look the same with minor exceptions. So here's AM. And you notice there are a few things gone, the play pause button, because you can't play pause. But everything else is the same. Okay, there's your sound settings, there's your presets. Okay, and if I go up here to FM, it's going to look the same again. And there you go. And I like it that they make all those the same. They're just much easier to learn. All right. So, Amazon Alexa, you're going to have to uh, sign in and hook up, which I didn't do. Uh, but then you can control anything that you control with Amazon Alexa at home. You, you're, you're gonna go home, you want it to turn on your lights. You can use it to do that. You're at home and you wanna use the Alexa app to do something on your car, you can do that. So it's a way of connecting it to a vehicle that is just really neat. I mean, you can tell it the remote start, you can see what the temperature is, you can shop, you know, so you can order from Amazon. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty amazing. So anything you use Alexa for at home, 
you can use it for in your car. You just got to sign it. So, absolutely amazing. All right, so let's go here. So that's audio. Now, cameras. Oh, my Lord. All right, so with this 2024 version, you can add cameras to your trailer. Um, I think there's about up to 14. And then you can have them displayed on your screen right here. So you can have an inside one, uh, an outside couple on the outside, whatever. I mean, it's just pretty amazing. It all goes through the vehicle harness. Now, this camera system, uh, I also said GM has probably one of the best camera systems um, that are out there. So here we go. You first of all, you got the whole large screen, right? I mean, you're missing about this much of it, but it's a big view. Down here, you can change between front and rear. Here, you got like a front down right on the hood or right down on the back as it even shows you a camera icon. Here you've got from the mirrors forward, so the right mirror, left mirror, so that'd be left tire, right tire. Uh, and then down here, you have a hitch view, on or off. Then here, you can do a split screen and you can get the bird's eye view, okay? And that, that'll come in almost any, uh, this one, this screen as well. And this one. All right. Uh, this one right here. Let's see if I put it in reverse. Okay. And I tap this. It changes my dynamic uh, guidelines. That's all off. That's on. And they are, they do swivel. And then turn on again and I get the, the hitch guide right there. So just amazing. And then imagine that you can add all the cameras to your trailer. So here you go. The cool thing is this is set up to have a gooseneck put in it. So then, of course, they give you the trailer um, assist right here where you can line up with your hitch for a gooseneck. But it's phenomenal. Now, if I hit the plus sign here, I can actually magnify a little bit. But that is just way cool. And... Uh, GMC does just an incredible job on their cameras. They're just outstanding. All right, so that's the camera system. Now, if I go over here to the Google Assistant, all it's gonna do is, yeah, it's gonna click on, it's gonna click on the mic. So it's like another voice command button, like the one you have on your steering wheel, but this one's here. So there we go, uh, that's Google Assistant. Now, because this is Google built in, uh, you have a Play Store that you can go to. And you'd have to sign in, but it will allow you to download any Android apps that are available for your car. So it doesn't look like the normal Google Play Store in the sense that there's not millions of apps. They're, they're a little limited, but they are growing and will continue to grow. And you can download them right from there. So swipe the screen here. You do have a great trailering app in here. You can add a trailer, use a guest trailer, or use accessories or no trailer. Okay. Climate. Now, what, what, you know, one of my pet peeves is they don't ever put enough physical buttons on the climate. They have. And I'll point out that the one feature that's always missing on climate controls is the sync button. But in this case, the sync button is on the physical controls. So really short of you know what i don't want to reach down and push my climate controls buttons i want to do it on the screen is the only reason you'd need to go in there otherwise it's all right here physically which i absolutely love let's go back here and um we'll come back to settings in a minute you can hook up a wi-fi hotspot in here and that is where you would do that all right so you've got then these podcasts that you can access right here. Okay, and you can explore. Okay, and then you can look at the library. So some neat additional features um, that having Google built in gives you. There's Google News. So, for the last one here, let's go into settings, because this is where you can make a lot of different changes. For instance, you can look at all the connections. 
So that's vehicle to phone sharing. That's your Wi-Fi hotspot. It's kind of a central spot for any connections to the vehicle. All right, I'm going to go back. You can look at stuff for the vehicle here. So teen driver, that will set a geofence, which means uh, you can set a parameter in which you want the car to travel. And if it crosses that boundary, it's not going to stop the car, but it will notify you on your phone. Uh, it limits the volume of the stereo. It keeps all the safety features on. Uh, things like that. And then you get a driver's report at you know whenever you want to access it that tells you about accelerating or braking and different things you might want to know about your teens driving. So if you click on buckle to drive, that means you won't be able to drive unless you're buckled. Okay. Uh, climate and air quality. So here's where you can make some adjustments like your auto speed. You have an auto uh, climate control button, but do you want that fan speed to be medium or low? Okay, you make those changes. It could be high. Okay, so these two uh, kind of go together, but basically if these are turned on uh, and, you, and you remote start the vehicle, it will decide if, if it's cold enough, it will turn on your heated seats. If it's too warm, it'll turn on your cooled and ventilated seats. Okay, enhanced heating. That's where, um, if you're in park or neutral, um, you can heat up the cabin much faster on cold days by using a higher engine idle speed, okay? on or off. That would be a great feature in uh, Minnesota. Uh, auto rear defog, you can turn that on or off. Let's go back here. Uh, collision detection systems. All right. Here's where you can make changes to these things. Now, you have uh, just a few safety systems. So I'm not going to go through every one of them, but I'll show you how to do them. So there's two kinds. There's the kind that have, like, it'll say the title, alert type. But then in yellow, it'll give you some other stuff. Those ones you have to click on and make the adjustment. These ones just have a simple on or off. Okay? So I'm going to go into this one. And so... Crash avoidance. Do I want safety alert, seat vibrations, or just beeps? You pick what you want. I like the seat vibrations because they're just weird uh, and they really catch your attention. And we hear a lot of beeps. All right, so that's how you adjust those. These ones here, for instance, um, rear cross traffic alert. Off or on, okay? And that you just get the same thing. You do get a little description right here if you want that. But I think it's just easier to watch our videos. All right. So that's how you adjust your collision detection systems. Lighting. Wow. Okay. This has a lot. <laughs> Vehicle locator lights. That's when you hit your remote and you want to see the flashers come on. Just so you can spot your vehicle. Exit lighting. You've got 30 to 120 seconds. So you, you shut off the car at night and, and you get out. Pull the key and get out. You're going to have from 30 seconds to 120 to, to get to your door before the lights on the vehicle will go off. Mm -hmm. All right. We don't have a trailer on here, of course, but I'll look at the trailing app for a second. Um, there's a couple of things that are kind of cool. Uh, turn signal activated view. So if you turn that on and you turn your turn signal on, it allows you to see what's in your blind spot before changing lanes, which I absolutely love. Okay, jackknife alert. You can have that on or off in case you're jackknifing. And the bed view camera lighting. So when you use the bed view camera, the, uh, the bed rail lights uh, will come on as well. Kind of ties the two together. So that's it on the 2024 GM Sierra 3500, and this is the uh, Denali Ultimate trim level. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.